Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sghir Palace the Greek Minister of Foreign Affairs, Georgios Katrogalos. His Majesty the King affirmed the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Greece and the growth and prosperity they witness on all levels. His Majesty welcomed the Greek Minister who conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the Greek President, Prokopos Pavlo Pavots and Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras and their sincere wishes of advancement to the people of Bahrain. His Majesty the King asked the Minister to convey his greetings of wishes of prosperity and development to the Greek President, Prime Minister and people. His Majesty the King noted the advanced level the Bahraini-Greek relations have reached, affirming the Kingdom's aspirations to bolster the current partnerships and to utilize the two countries' expertise and potentialities to achieve the aspirations of the two friendly peoples. For his part, the minister expressed appreciation for His Majesty's vital role in establishing bilateral ties and increasing coordination and cooperation between the two countries on all levels. He asserted the country's aspirations to strengthen relations and coordination with the kingdom in the fields of politics, economy, tourism and culture for the interests of the two peoples. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, today met with the Minister of Greece, Georgios Katrogalos, currently visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid welcomed the visiting Greek Minister and expressed the aspiration of Bahrain to strengthen its existing friendly relations with Greece and develop bilateral ties in various political, economic, trade and other areas. He stressed the importance of constant exchange of visits between officials of the two countries to serve all aspects of bilateral cooperation. For his part, the Greek minister expressed pride to have met the Minister of Foreign Affairs, stressing that his visit to Bahrain comes within the intent of Greece to develop bilateral relations at all levels. He hailed the great efforts being exerted by Bahrain to enhance security and stability in the region, wishing it further development and prosperity. UNESCO announced the beginning of registration in the UNESCO King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa Prize for the use of information and communication technologies in education directed to individuals and international NGO institutions no later than Thursday, October 31st, 2019. The prize aims to honor pioneering projects and programs on the international level in the field of utilizing ICT to provide education and increase its lifelong opportunities for all. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, affirmed that UNESCO's continued sponsorship of this international prize for the 11th session in a row is a reflection of its remarkable successes since its establishment under the patronage of His Majesty the King in 2005 in light of achieving UNESCO's humanitarian objectives. He noted the prize's large international participation from individuals, institutions and organizations that have implemented innovative projects in the field of utilizing ICT in education in various fields. He praised the cooperation of the organization for the success of the prize. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Chairman of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, Jamil Ali Hamidan, is leading Bahrain's delegation to the International Labor Organization meeting in Geneva with the participation of labor ministers from all over the world, employers and workers' organizations, unions and trade unions, experts and delegations of relevant organizations. The Bahraini delegation includes representatives of employers and workers, in addition to the participation of the permanent representative of Bahrain to the United Nations office and other organizations in Geneva, Dr. Youssef Abdel Karim Bouchiri, as well as a number of officials of the Minister of Labor and Social Development and the LMRA. The importance of the Kingdom's participation in this annual conference lies in its membership in the organizations and the board of directors. It also comes in line with the Kingdom's keenness in shaping the organization's policies with the international community.